Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisies Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom to three little babies. And today's video, we're going to be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. This one is from, what is it? South Hackensack, New Jersey. And I have not gotten one from New Jersey in quite a little while. So I'm excited to open this one up. I'm so sorry I was MIA last weekend. I didn't I, I didn't really give you guys a heads up, but um, my mom was in town. You guys knew that. But um, I also did not receive my boxes until Saturday evening. My son's birthday was on Sunday. So I just, I took a little hiatus and decided to spend some family time with my little kiddo and my mom before she left out of town again. Um, thoroughly enjoyed my trip. I miss you, mom, if you're watching. But all right, so let's take a look. All right, looks like we got a bag. So let's just pull this out of the bag. And I always check the bottom of the box because you never know. All right, so first look. This is a nice size bag. It feels like five pounds. Seeing a lot of these like earthy stones in here. Maybe some like gold gilding over here. All right, so let's open her up. Let's see what we have. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. Oh, got a lot of tangles in here today. All right. Let's see if we can get this going. All right. This first little piece here is wrapped up in, up in this one. Let's see if we can untangle her. All right. So this is super pretty, like abalone on the sides with a little mother of pearl on the inside. That's really nice. Super shiny uh, on this little like seed bead necklace. I really like this pendant. The seed beads are okay too, but wow, that pendant is so pretty. So shiny. Very, very pretty. I'll definitely be keeping this one for resale. I actually uh, posted a lot of my merchandise that I have not posted in a while. So I am all caught up on my merchandise. If you're interested in a piece, go ahead and check out my Poshmark Etsy. And of course, you can email me in the description below. You'll see my email. And um, if you're interested in a piece, go ahead and email me. And like I said, I apologize for any late responses to my emails. Um, I know some of you guys emailed me for some pieces and I was late to respond. Like I said, I took a little vacation. So, and also while we're here talking, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment with any information you have to share. All right. So we have a little rainbow swirled earring. This is actually really cute. I like the design with the rainbows on it. So hopefully, hope for a match. All right, now we have this like glass, really nice glass twisted pendant here. Super pretty. I love that twisted. I've never seen it like twisted all the way around like that. That is so nice. I would almost put that like on a chain. I do like the this cloth and like twine, I guess. I don't know if that's what you're gonna call it, but this is really, really pretty. Kind of sits almost a little awkwardly. Like when it's hanging, hmm. but very pretty. I don't know. Maybe you just loop it around this one instead. I bet it would hang nicer than kind of to the side. Very pretty though. I like it. Very shiny. All right. Next is, I'm thinking this is probably just some dyed howlite. Looks like dyed how like to me, but that's still a nice, nice piece. I'm thinking like collarbone length, not quite choker, but more collarbone, collarbone length. You can almost add like a pendant in there. It's a little, little stretched out. You can almost add a little something there. So yeah, that's a nice one too. You know what? I think I had the matching bracelet to this in one of my lot boxes. I feel like I put it back in a lockbox because I was like, eh, didn't match anything, but this definitely would match it. This is so pretty. I love these jewels on there. This is going to be a hard one not to keep for my daughter. You guys know I keep entirely too much jewelry for myself. 
And I think I'm also going to do a video, you guys, on all the jewelry that I've gotten from Goodwill so far that I've kept because it is quite a bit of jewelry and it is rather expensive. So I think I'm going to do a video on that. And I'm also thinking about opening up a Facebook page. So you guys let me know what you think about that. I'm thinking about doing some selling on there as well. I haven't ventured out to any other social media sites yet besides, you know, of course, like Etsy and but that's not really social media. This is super pretty. Maybe like quartz or something. With that black in there, though. Oh, this is so pretty. Let's see what the Presidium is going to say. Isn't that quartz range? Quartz amethyst. It's pretty, pretty strong in that one. Let's hope for a match for that one too. But yeah, you guys, I've been really thinking about a Facebook page lately. Um, I actually don't have like a personal Facebook page because I'm just like a weirdo and I don't have any social media. So you guys let me know what you think. I'm very interested to see what your opinion would be. A little single stud. A little earring. Like fake pearl. Hmm. Another little green earring, no names. Nice, like chandelier type at the bottom earring. Mm, this is pretty. Really pretty green stones here. Mm, this kind of reminds me of a, kind of looks like, what is it, val Velsite? Valsite? I'm trying to learn more my, on my stones. But I want to say this is like Velsite. I don't know if I'm saying that correct. I'll put it in here when I edit this video. I'll put it in there. But definitely that green with like the cream throughout it. It's very interesting. Let's uh, let's test it with the Presidium and see what it says to you. Of course, this isn't going to test like the turquoise stones. Usually they read in like the glass area. It's reading a little bit. But it, it goes right back down to that glass, so... Um, I think this maybe is like a semi-precious stone or yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so pretty. Look at that. Oh, the spiral is so nice. All right. Nice pieces so far. It's kind of look like shells. Hmm. Let's pull the Presidium out again. Let's see what she says. If I can get it going. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe these are just shells. Kind of goes up a little bit on that glass, though. So. Hmm. Very interesting. Nice little stretch brand. A little stretched out, though, so... Another earring. This looks like it could be sterling. It's a little bit of that tarnishing on there. Maybe a piece is chipped off at the top here. Too bad. No name. All right, let's do this one. T clasp here. It's looking a little rough. A lot of wear on that one. Oh, looks like we found a match. Yay. So it is missing that top part. I wonder if I could find it. Okay, and we are marked. So uh, you guys actually taught me this at um, some of the matching earrings. It'll only be stamped on one earring, and it's the Alpaca Mexico. So I'm sure this is sterling then. So that is really nice. Really nice set. I hope I can find the chip out of that one in this bag. So we'll see about that. Awesome pair of matching earrings, though. My first set of matching out of this bag. Very large hoop earring. All right, this kind of reminds me of that, uh, the snow, was it the snow white turquoise or? I can't remember. Kind of reminds me of that, that set that I got. I still need to get that looked at. No name on it, though. Just trying to see if there's any markings, trying to feel on that, those, like the part that goes through the ear. 
Ooh, look at this big guy. Ooh, that's nice. Got some like gold gilding in here. I wonder if this is like wood or if this is like coral. And then this red part here, I'm feeling like it's a little too like solid to be like any kind of like amber. Let's test her, see what it says. I feel like it might just be plastic. Kind of feels like plastic. Yeah, none of this is reading anything, which Coral wouldn't. So, hmm, interesting. And these pieces in the middle kind of have like the red and black and then the gold, gold on there with these gold plates in between. Huh, very interesting. I guess I should probably check the clasp. It's definitely like vintage vibes, I don't know. Maybe like 70s or 80s. This would definitely sit on the collarbone too, a very thick collarbone type of necklace. Hmm. Nice though. All right, another stretch band. I think these are plastic. Feels like plastic or maybe wood, but I'm thinking plastic. Thinking it's plastic, guys. All right. Did we find the match? Oh, it looks like we did find the match, but it's like like undone or like loosened up like the cloth. Yeah, that would have been a really cute pair to sell. Darn. Oh, pretty little rose. Plastic rose. Oh, got a little zebra here. Looks like JJ. I've gotten a lot of these with, with like the JJ mark or I've seen some with like an AC too on there. Little JJ mark. Hmm. Cute little zebra though. I'll definitely try and sell that. It's another good one. I love a good little animal, animal brooch or earrings. I'm gonna put this in a lot. All right, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> All right, this looks like glass. Wire wrapped glass. That's really cute. Little, like kind of art deco vibes to me. Let's just test it, make sure. Yeah, glass. This is really cute though. This reminds me of like the like little things I used to put in my hair when I was a kid. The little balls on each side. Yeah, this is nice. Very nice, very nice. Hmm, this is pretty. That's really pretty. Definitely kind of some kind of earthy stone here. I swear sometimes I don't pull the Presidium out at all for a box and then other times I'm pulling it out all the time. So let's see what it says. Mm, I mean, it feels like it's got like that, like the ridges on it reading glass so that's probably a good sign for it might be glass but I don't know I'm thinking some kind of stone here do some more research on that one looks like some more dyed howlite little shark tooth it's a little worn worn down uh, I mean this part doesn't look bad but the chain is a little a little more worn down then I would prefer to resell. So I might try and maybe find something that's got that similar goldish tone to it. All right, we're looking for a tag here. J. Crew. So that's a good one to resell. This is really cute too with the little jewels on it. I'll have to go through and, you know, check each one and make sure that we're not missing any jewels. It is a little worn, you know, some of that discoloration, but some people kind of like that worn look. So this might be worth, since it's J. Crew, might be worth to try and sell anyways. I'm not a huge fan of a super long necklace, but I think I could probably manage this one. It's got that really nice, 
a creamy pink in there. All right, we got the single earring. Can't tell if we're missing some jewels. I don't think so. Okay. It's kind of cloudy on some of those. All right, this looks like wood, maybe. A little hand painted, like wooden earring. this guy oh I'm missing some stones that is so pretty I wonder if I can find it at the bottom that is so pretty look at that so pretty and what the tag says loft okay oh that is so gorgeous I'm sure it's just glass but looks like glass to me hmm that is so pretty all right, uh, it's kind of look like aqua stones. All right, let me put some of these to the side. I'm going to test these real quick. Oops. Mm, kind of get up there. So sometimes I can kind of get it in a crack and it seems to read a little bit better. But it's still pretty close to just hovering over glass, so. Looks like some more dyed halite or some kind of dyed. Definitely cold to the touch, but very interesting piece. Long, pretty long. It's a little tassel, chain tassel at the bottom. All right, another large, long necklace. Does this connect in the front? Or maybe connects right here? And then kind of goes down, I'm not sure. Or is this a belt? All right, I do not know. Or is it broken? <laughs> I'm gonna throw all my theories out here. Very long though, very long. Definitely could be a belt. We'll see. Oh, these are really pretty. Looks like some glass again. Some seed beads. Oh, that is so pretty. That would be so nice for Christmas. Really good condition too, so. Really pretty. Okay, so this actually, let's see what the tags. All right, sorry about that, guys. I need to clean up my phone. I do not have enough storage. <laughs> I'm a hoarder of photos, so. All right, so the Mika necklace is a good-looking necklace. I would probably try and resell this. I don't see a ton of wear on it. Definitely a bold statement necklace, so. All all right, next is this pretty little thing. A little copper and brass. Looks like we got a Kathy engraved in there. I don't know if that's like actual brand or if that's just somebody got their name engraved in it, but it's really pretty. Yeah, definitely really pretty. All right, found the matching chandelier earring. Okay, so this is cool. I don't know if this is for something or if it does something. It looks like the gears could actually work. Kind of is moving a little bit when I do that. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm trying to see if I can get it to move at all. It's a very interesting piece, so. I don't know if that was like for a watch or something or if this is just that style. Hmm, very interesting. I'll have to look that up a little bit. 
looks like we have like a rectangle linked necklace here. Clasp is pretty, pretty worn. I see a couple spots that are worn on here too. So, eh, not too impressed with that one. This is cool. It's definitely glass, glass beads here. Got kind of broken on that one side. Hmm. All right, now we've got the cubes to match the rectangles. This is definitely very stretched and plastic. All right, we got another like rainbow style large earring. Do we have a match? Oh, it looks like we might have had a match. Oh yeah, it ripped off. So it looks like there was a match to that other one and a mystery here. Yummy. Ooh, this is nice. This looks sterling to me. Let's see. I see a marking on it. F-A-S. What do you say? 925 Italy. Ooh, this is so pretty. Very minimal and super dainty. Pretty long, too. I almost wonder if you could, like, I don't know if you could layer it necessarily because it's, I don't know if it's long enough for that. But, ooh, this is nice. Super, super dainty. Very dainty. Very light, but nice silver piece. Found a couple silver so far, so that's good. Hmm. Little dangle earring there. And what about you? Got another J. Crew. Okay. Little fake pearls, a little bit of wear again, and a mystery here. So, yeah, I'll have to think about this one too. It's nice to have two of those J. Crews in there, though. Ooh, look at these earrings sure they're just costume but they're nice and shiny pretty like emerald green too oh we have a match to that other earring in here wherever it was there it is so matching earrings again so I always like to check the other one like you guys have given me advice about checking the other earring and making sure that it uh doesn't have anything that says so a lot of the same that backing that metal like Metal style backing on those. This one's really pretty too. Then we got the heart. I was gonna say, didn't we have this already? We did. We did, matching again. So we got a lot of matches today. That's nice. Little moon here. The moon looks sterling, but this looks like they like roped it together. Moon is nice though, just this this hook is not not sterling. Alright, now we've got like the kind of gilded vibes again. Like gold or plated. Plated vibes. It's got a nice little pink hue to the front side of it though. It's supposed to be a flower. Then we got the pretty little bow. If I find the other one, maybe I could keep this for my daughter. Super cute. We've got a lost hook there. Looks like maybe a lost jewel in that earring. Maybe some... Almost looks like the tortoise shell, but kind of like mother of pearl. Definitely plastic, but... Mm. Little bangle bracelet. Oh, I never see these with with actual jewels on it. This little spiral one, if I can get it off. Or this circle one. All right, there it goes. So just unhook it. These are cool, though. I wonder if these are... It's kind of feel like glass-ish. But it's not. I don't know what this is. I like the colors on it. We just make sure we don't have any sterling marks on here. I don't think we're going to find any, but I gotta, I gotta check. I do really like these. I could almost like take these off and put them on a chain. Ooh, this is cool. Reminds me of like rock candy. 
Yeah, it definitely reminds me of rock candy. Kind of feels like rock candy, too. Mm, kind of wanted to go up on glass just a little bit there. Yeah, it's kind of bumping back down to that glass. Definitely rock candy vibes here. Kind of has that like clear look on the bottom too. So I'm digging this, this little snake wrap bracelet. It's like the chain link. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I love like little intricate designs like this. It's kind of cool. It does look like a snake. I'm feeling it. Ooh, this is pretty. All right, bracelet. Okay, it looks like we're coming untwisted here, just a little bit. It's a little sterling looking look in there too. It's just like plastic beads to me. For such a pretty bracelet, you'd think it would be maybe some stones or something. So we're eating glass at least, so that's good. Yeah, we're eating glass. So that's definitely a cool piece. This would be fun for Christmas too. We have found some, oh my goodness, look at this thing. We found some interesting pizzas, pieces. I can talk today. Oh, wow. This is a big old necklace. Oh my gosh, this sucker is heavy and magnetic. All right, let me pull these aside. Whoa, this is massive. Holy cow, this magnet is something serious too. Holy cow, this thing is huge and heavy, very heavy. I'm about to put it on just to see how it fits. Oh, yeah, she's heavy. Definitely collarbone length. This would be a fun spring. Like you could really wear just like something super simple with this and this be like the statement. It's in good shape too. It's not like in bad shape. This could be my hair or somebody else's hair. Yeah, it doesn't look in bad shape either. Jeez, look at this thing, guys. This is like both of my hands together. Massive, massive necklace. This would really be a nice statement statement piece. I usually wouldn't keep something large like that, but that looks so like unique. I might have to. All right, found the match to that other one. Like I said, again with these like foggy jewels here. Hmm. Oh, and we found the match to that other, like, little dangle earring, metal dangle earring. All right, so what is this? Looks like some religious, like Catholic. Yeah, definitely it's magnetic, so I don't know if I could clean that up any, but... And is it a, yeah, it's a bracelet. I was going to say, is it an inklet or a bracelet? It's very noisy. Very noisy. All right. It looks like some plastic bead here. I was going to say, I thought this was maybe like a robot body, but it is a skull with a little pointer here. Oh, we found the match to that other one then. Gosh, that's a ton of matching earrings. I wonder if they come from like the same set. Another one of those plastic mother of pearls. I'm sure this is a fake pearl. It looks fake to me. Little hippie vibes here. Little peace sign. Oh, that's pretty. This is super nice too. Oh my goodness. For some costume, I am liking this of course i'm gonna like it it's j crew all right wow look at this oh she is so sparkly 
This would be super nice for Christmas again. A little Christmas party or something. Very large, but oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. It's so pretty. So pretty. I have to like dance for you guys for this. A little dance for the necklace. Like has a little jewel still on here too. As if there wasn't enough already. Look at that. Oh, so shiny. Lots of really good costume pieces today. Because if you can't find some like, you know, sterling or what. Oh, express. Okay, this is cool. Like roses too. I'll definitely try and sell this. Almost like a pewter color. This would be definitely like a collarbone. Oh, actually, maybe a choker. Let's see. I'll put it on my little neck. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a choker. Oh, this is going to be so hard for me not to keep. I'm really into chokers right now. And, oh, this is so cute. I love some flowers. And this little, like I said, that pewter color, I think I want to say. Very nice with the roses. I already found the match to the plastic rose. Now we're getting down to the bottom of the bag here. We've gotten a lot of earrings and whatnot. Oh, this is nice. Very shiny. Maybe we can find a match. No name, but definitely going to be looking for a match for that one. Okay, we found the maybe the match. I think I just saw this in here, though. So there's definitely a match in there. And that's nice to sell matching earrings in the lot boxes, too. I find that people like that. Oh, vintage vibes with this one. The flowers and the little intricate details. I think that's like melted or something. Don't see any markings, but yeah, definitely vintage vibes. Like Victorian type look. Got a nice bold twist on clip on earring. Right, we're missing a little jewel at the top here. Fake pearl. I'm just gonna try and just pull some of this out here. All right, got a match to that one. Another match to that one. I feel like, oh, I was gonna say, I feel like I saw that one, I did. All right, a lot of that same metal backing with like the lines coming out. Those are nice though too. Lots of matches today, which is nice. Cannot complain about the matching earrings. This is interesting. No markings. I thought maybe I saw a marking underneath here, but I don't think I do. I wonder if this is like glass. Kind of looks like glass to me. Let's see what the old Presidium reads. Uh, I kind of wanted to jump up there just a little bit. It's not really moving much. It's a nice little brooch, though. And we found the match. I had to keep these for my baby girl. She loves her bows. All right, found the match to that one. Y'all, like matching central over here. Oh, it's, oh, I was going to say, oh, it's broken. It's not. It's good. Nice, festive. Ooh, what is this? All right, hold on. Let me just go through these earrings really quick. All right, another festive earring. Ooh, the little ladybug. Hope I find the match to that one. Oh, so cute. Oh, Mark by Mark Jacobs. Cool. All right, that's a good one. I hope I find the match. All right, so now we got the match to that. The little elephant. So cute. Another heart. Peace sign. Again. Hmm. Hmm. I think that maybe it's supposed to be a fan or something like that. Not seeing any markings on it, though. Now we find the flower match to the other one. <gasps> Did we find the match? We found the match. Yay! I'm totally keeping these for my girl. She loves ladybugs. And I found a lot of ladybug jewelry. So she's got, like, a whole set now. She's got, like, a bracelet, necklace, and earrings. Oh, so cute. Oh, we got another match to the elephant. Match to that one. 
large drop earring. This is some type of, this is just like dyed or something. It's got the rose on the top. I like the little details. We're going to get to the, to the, oh, I don't know if it's like quartz or something, like dyed quartz. Hmm. Pretty uh, lime green though. Ooh, this is definitely some quartz on here. Guarantee it. Oh, well, I guess I should not say guarantee it. It might just be glass. Yeah, it looks like it's just reading glass. Ooh, nice too. All right, last one. I'm going to get to the to the elephant over there. Very large. Of course, my fingers are large, so I'm shocked it even fits. But that is a large golden ring. Very, very raised ring. Not much uh, wear on it, though, so hmm, maybe it's plated or something. All right. Let's look at this pretty little thing. Ooh. I wonder what that stone is in there. It's definitely some kind of stone. Mm, it's got that really nice, rich, like, purpley blue. It's a red and the green. Oh, this is so pretty. Definitely, like, Hindu vibes here. So nice. Very, very nice piece. All right, guys, we're just going to dump the rest of this. All right, we got a broken piece of a... Match to that plastic one. Oh, got the other match to that one. So many matching earrings today. Thank goodness. It will help. It's very tore up, but a match. Match again. Oh, is this like it's pearls, right? These like ridged. These pearls. Scratchy like a pearl. This is nice. It's a nice piece too. Holy cow, guys, this is a pretty good box. So it's like rose quartz to me. Yes. Sometimes I know my stones. <laughs> That's nice too. Another little maybe Hindu type of the hand too. Or was that Jewish? I can't remember. That's a nice one too. And this is super cool. This has a V. I don't know if that's just a clasp, though. Well, guys, this is a pretty good box. Very interesting. I need to do some research on a lot of these. So you guys let me know if you guys have any information for me as well. I will do as much research as I can before I post this and edit it into the video. Um, yeah, so we found a lot of cool costume pieces. We got some sterling. We got some some pearls. We got some J. Crew. I cannot complain. This is a pretty darn good box. Lots of matching earrings. Um, I definitely want you guys' opinion on my Facebook page. So let me know if you guys think I should open up a Facebook page for Dainty Daisy. We did not find a match. Oh. Um, so yeah, you guys let me know if you guys think I should open up a Facebook page, if you guys would enjoy that. You guys would be able to see my YouTube videos posted on there as well, along with uh, my merchandise I'm going to be selling. So it'd be kind of like a two for one on there. And then, um, yeah, so hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't hit it. Hit that like button if you like this video. Leave me a comment. And until next time.